गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स फेब्रुवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ब्राइट सनी डे इट इज थर्टी टू डिग्री आउट साइड फार एन हाइट बट वेन इट इज ब्राइट सनी समटाइम्स इट फील्स लाइक सिक्सटी लाइक आई एम नॉट इन ए स्वेटर एंड इट फील्स वेरी गुड दैट्स वॉट आई फील टुडे आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट माई सकुलेंट कलेक्शन विच आई डीड आई डिड स्टार्ट दिस इयर ओनली अर्लियर आई वॉज नॉट ए फैन ऑफ सकुलेंट मे बी आई डिड नॉट नो मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द सकुलेंट सो हट ऑफ अवर आई हैड सीन आई वॉज नॉट अट्रैक्टेड बट सम हाउ दिस इयर हियर एंड दे आर आई सॉ फ्यू सकुलेंट्स एंड when i was watching few youtubers i saw um, their collection and slowly i also developed some interest towards them and uh, whenever i went to the plant area in the store and i what wherever i liked uh, any of them i purchased and um, now i have some of them so let me show you what i brought in uh this is uh, this it's not written but i think this is they call uh, echeveria one type of echeveria i don't know the exact name but i liked the shape so like um, kind of uh, how to say round and uh, kind of water drop shape and then little bit pointy here so somehow that's uh, how i liked it and that's why i got this in some tag the names are written but this is very tiny pot uh, i think 7 cm so most of the time in the 7 cm uh, the exact name is not mentioned so i will uh, transfer it into a bigger pot uh, but uh, to show you i did not transfer it so after this video i will move into bigger pot so that their roots can grow bigger see beautiful i find it very beautiful then uh, see this one somehow this is a little bigger than i think what size they say i don't know but i liked this uh, i am hoping i don't know the exact name but i like uh, the way they are and when they will grow um, you can imagine the pillar of this shape that's how i feel so i find it very beautiful let me see if exact name is there crassula crassula rapestris here the man, name is mentioned crassula crassula is like big collection and then uh, rapestris is its this variety crassula rapestris or rupestris they pronounce sometimes uh, o and sometimes u the r u so see how it is the name information then um, this is uh, when i purchased uh, this stem which is now this long this stem was up to here and this stem was up to here and uh, somehow if you notice see the shape the 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 leaf pattern is kind of cross this way and this way i feel like that see each leaf is on top of each other here each leaf is on top of it each other so like that if you can see
so i find it very interesting because of uh, the leaf see the structure i'll rotate here And uh, yeah, the name is not mentioned. I don't know the exact name. Then um, I love this one too. I don't know the name. Some crassula something I think. Let me show you. Yeah, this is uh, crassula por. Porphorata variegata. Uh, so this is also Crassula Porphorata. And because of this color, like green and chartreuse color, you see it is not completely green, and that's what they say variegata means uh, multiple color shades of green. You can say variegation, mix of little bit white, light, light green, like that so this is also one type of crassula and uh, i love the pattern see the way it is uh, square saved with each uh, though to a pair of leaf but it, the final shape is square and pointy um, on at, at the at the corner that i like the shape so see how it is looking see their growth I find it very beautiful so I'll transfer it into a bigger pot but for now it is it has enough space for now so I can keep like this and uh, somehow I like this shape of this pot and uh, it looks very cute <laughs> when you keep a plant it looks like from top of their head they are coming out then uh, next is uh, this is uh, actually i went in the search of uh, string of pearls which is round round the leaf is round round and very attractive that's what i saw but i did not find it sorry but i did not find the string of pearls instead when i was searching and then that's how i started getting all these so this was they call fish hook Though it looks like um, string of banana also you can say but it is written um, if you can see it is written fish hooks so the variety is fish hook and when I, I have seen people uh, when uh, it falls like this so when it is a lot of uh, falling cascading uh, structure you see it looks very uh, it looks very beautiful this one so though i wanted a little little bigger one i found it was very little i think you can say the half of the size it is uh, already a month uh, i think i bought and in this tiny two two and half inch uh, uh, pot it was very tiny when i got and uh, i can say 50 percent growth you see like this branch was up to here this branch was up to here this branch was up to here so um, it was very tiny and now only your it is visible uh, the branch and these i loved it <laughs> and i'm just i am waiting when all these branches will be falling and full the pot see in a tiny pot also it looks so pretty so this is fisuk Then uh, this one is uh, Echivera nodulosa, they say. These um, little bit darker lines, you know, lines in the petal. 
it is very thick so i found the name Echeveria nodulosa and see it is so beautiful this uh, just I find it attractive its name is not written it's a type of succulent you see the exact name is not written only written succulents this is very thick triangular and I'm hoping it will be much bigger size if it is in the bigger pot so I think now it is in the baby stage yeah it's very pretty then if I remember well they call it ox tongue yeah how earth here they call this one if you are able to see how are they? So, uh, ox tongue, dwarf ox, they say. So, I believe maybe it won't be very big size, but still, the um, shape is it is very hard if you touch it, thick and hard. And uh, this was very tiny, it was not visible when I got it. And if you see this one, this was this was up to this height, little bit so this is uh, three weeks ago i got it three weeks ago and see it is desperate to bloom and i'm i feel very happy <laughs> seeing it growing so fast i don't know um, I'll be successful or not with all these succulents because many people uh, s uh, can't uh, grow them sometimes uh, when you bring home and then they don't like the environment uh, of your house it depends not I'm not saying every house but it depends on the environment when they come and um, uh, they get a <coughs> big change of their air but I find it very beautiful, see? Ox tongue, dwarf ox tongue. And then uh, this is another uh, similar, when you touch and feel, it is same as like that ox tongue and that the other one. I, let me see, this is also Havarthia and then only species it is written so i think there are four it looks like four head one two see one two three four five okay i think it is, there are five heads here i find it beautiful this is also one type of havarthia Then uh, this is uh, star alloy, one type of star alloy and I think they call this variety as uh, some teeth, tiger teeth or some, some teeth I think they call it, exactly this variety. So this is one type of star alloy, let me see if there is, the variety is, no it is not written. And those are those are four four dollar but this is eight dollar so you can say a little expensive in this tiny pot 
one two dollar you may get difference in different different store but still it is not cheap but still i thought let me take at least one and experiment how it is growing beautiful i find it very beautiful I'm not sure I'll keep you in this cup or something, but temporarily <laughs> just to look good on the video, I kept it here. And uh, this is everybody knows aloe vera, <laughs> right? Every year I used to see, but I never got it. Uh, uh, I never bought it somehow. I don't know why I never bought it and slowly when now I have so many succulents I thought okay while taking care of the other succulents I can take care of these also oh yeah and I remember somehow few people like in India um, I remember either my mother or my grandmother who told the thorny plant to avoid keeping inside the house so initial few years I avoid because of that but slowly my mind changed and uh, I think if you take good care and it's fine to have them inside. See? Now let me show you this one. I don't know the name. I think it is a type of Echeveria. I this is the one of the f first uh, succulent that I got. First time I bought, bought uh, I think three, so um, this is one of them. So now this is not my uh, favorite as much as other, but um, initially I bought this. Let's see with time how it grows. Uh, though it grew little more, it was. Uh, half of its size the way it looks now the exact uh, name is not mentioned but you can see sometimes this kind of uh, roji structure or um, the echeveria when they are uh, many many head filled in a big pot they look very beautiful so um, i am hoping to see the structure like that let's see And then uh, this one uh, is very common um, snake plant this is the last plant I bought I don't know if uh, you consider it succulent it is not but the leaves are you know, very thick and uh, this is very healthy you can keep inside the bedroom also uh, as um, it is a good house plant and hardly it needs any care you can forget to water for month for a month and still it is fine that's what they say it's very very easy caring uh, plant uh, plant if you want then uh, one other than um, pothos uh, i think this is one or maybe this is uh, easier than pothos too i'm not a very big fan but uh, just i thought okay let me include one uh, at least and see how it grows and because sometimes it is a unique structure right see the variegation and uh, so when it is a lot of branch sometimes they look very good and um, this is the i like the variegation exact name is uh, not mentioned but um, it looks very pretty the 
when it is uh, among all other green plants then you see the difference that this is a unique plant and it looks very beautiful because of its variegation and uh, this one and uh, this one when i was buying some other plants uh, it was on sale these two uh, so i thought okay let me take it and they were in a very bad condition they were looking like as if they are going to die but um, i thought i will water it and let's see so this also if you see the height of its plant it was 10 percent of its height it was just touching the soil that's it and so the whole uh, length the whole height of the branch it grew so and uh, when i bought i did not know that uh, they can grow from their leaves so when i learned i was reading uh, uh, how to grow and how to take care at that time i saw uh, one way of propagation is the leaf and uh, you can just keep the leaf on the soil and um, sprinkle little water once a while but don't make the soil wet every week then it will grow so and this is the proof if you are able to see that one I didn't do anything when I bought one leaf dropped and I just forgot to remove that leaf and after uh, after a month I saw new <laughs> baby plant coming out of that so it is very interesting anyway so and now I like it uh, it is a little light green color different the structure very unique leaf structure long and pointy and this is kind of they say blue um, though I feel it is green but little bluish green you can say the petal and uh, just as a different collection I got it so these two was not my intention to buy just I rescued them here they say rescue right <laughs> when the plant nobody wanted to buy the plant and they put it on the cell so if you buy you rescue them so that's how this is this is i bought i loved it and i bought it it is i did not rescue <laughs> i did not rescue it at all i loved the plant and i got it because i felt when uh, i bought other uh, let me tell you all these plants i did not buy at one time <laughs> these are on different different weeks so at least uh, five times of my shopping not even to minimum five times i believe and uh, and every time i went to search a string of pearls and i ended up buying something else <laughs> but uh, that's how you do get the things and uh, so i find it uh, interesting the leaf it is so wide and kind of heart in shape and uh, beautiful right see i think exact name is not mentioned but i got it from uh, i may be wrong i got it from internet i searched echeveria blondi that's what i think but i'm not sure echeveria blondi the leaf looked like uh, this plant so i put the tag yeah so that's what i will slowly do for every plant to see and put the tag because it is good to know the name now let me show you my last tree this is uh, I don't know the name I'm sorry <laughs> okay i'm glad i found the name it is uh, the botanical name is uh, aloinopsis aloinopsis lakhafi or lakhafiai double i they say fi aloinopsis lakhafiai uh, 
a line of sea's lock of eye so this is how the lip structure is very unique and see i don't know the uh, name how to say it it is triangular and um, thick uh, the top the top part is flat but the bottom part is triangular and then elongated so i find it very unique and pretty and on and the front the triangular part there are uh, you know kind of tongue shape dot 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 so somehow it is very interesting i thought and uh, let me experiment then this is a um, succulent or peperomia i am not sure it may be a peperomia i think here it is written succulents yeah see it is written peperomia so it is one type of pep peperomia and uh, i have seen this plant when it grows it looks very pretty when it is full so i thought of uh, having one and uh, this one this one i find it the most unique plant i have ever seen so far so far i'm seeing i am saying so that's why i got it it's like button i, I cannot <laughs> describe the shape you just see it how cute it is and i think its name is uh, there these are these are all from home depot so when i bought this i remember every um, pot has uh, its name I, every plant has its name uh, split rock they say oh pleo spilos nilai or split rock the common name they say beautiful and then this is a very pretty plant it falls it falls and they they look very pretty i have seen big big pot and they are very pretty when i saw i just i didn't take two second to decide that i want one and this is you see it a gf garland right <laughs> it's so cute and beautiful and this is crassula species okay it is written crassula i think some button they say button i don't know the exact name see how it looks beautiful i hope they i can survive all of them because you don't know as long as you uh, really wait few months and this i think i i have the other variety it is a little different uh, from the previous one this is also crassula i think yeah crassula species one type of crassula but that is different this is different this is very little little ruby color margin but the previous one little bit silvery i found it so i think they both are different and but when they grow they look very pretty that's why i got these first i bought this tiny one i found it in lowes i think 2 dollar 50 cents i paid this is the smallest pot i have ever bought <laughs> but when you are desperate for the plant uh, you know i thought let me take it and so far it looks healthy and good and i think i can make it uh, survive but this is my smallest pot plant i have ever bought it's very tiny in the camera it looks big it is very very tiny you can compare with my finger see how it is it's very tiny let me show you if there is a name no i think no name and i'm sorry i don't know the name this one uh, i think it is that variety only the stem is uh, ruby or red you can say and it is variegated 
so this this plant this plant is rare to find this variegated if you are lucky sometimes because people like it the, the in the store or immediately when uh, the store uh, get the new collection quickly within a day they are gone so and i also got all these uh, on the first day i believe see so because it is variegated let's see and all these they say they you can propagate from uh, leaves but uh, first i want to wait three months at least and then uh, i want to survive the main plant mother plant and then i can make uh, i mean propagate the plant so i think this is um, porchula caria porchula caria kaleidoscope because of this variegation they are saying kaleidoscope Porchula caria that is also that one but it is kaleidoscope they are saying And they say this is beer paw, I think they say. Uh, let me see if the name is there. Yeah, see the, it, they, they call it bear, bear, bear's paw. Cotyledon ladis medianis, mediansis, something. Anyway, first, first I bought this one. They say bear's paw because it is really very unique see the shape on the tip it is little bit rough rough edges and i bought this because seeing this variegated i felt any any plant when it is variegated those are little rare sometimes they are hybrid they are not real um, so but when i bought it this one it was in a very bad condition and all, everything was touching the soil only so you see this growth these are all after uh, they have grown in my house so this is I think I bought in January and it was in a very bad almost it was in the dying condition but um, succulents uh, they stay many many days so in the store also they don't water every week and uh, I thought I will try and it was only four dollar not very expensive so I thought even if it dies it is okay uh, but I wanted to have this one so this variety and uh, now it is healthy only it needs to be changed to a bigger pot and uh, after that this is uh, in my last batch I bought this is all green the same variety but it is all green not variegated and uh, it was healthy so but I thought I will I wanted both variety both variegated and the whole green one that's why I got it so yeah this is always I am scared this about this plant my kids if they will throw or if they will because I feel it even if you blow it will <laughs> throw now when it is dry and see like now it is not watered and it is very very light anyway so these are my so far all my succulent collection with time i will update you how it grows um, i think i'm not bringing them outside until end of may i don't want to take the risk of uh, cold temperature in the evening and kill them because many times it happens and they are happy in very dry conditions so inside the house i will try to maintain that and now I have so many so I don't want to take chance to kill them in any way when I bought this one uh, until I reach home I brought it very very carefully but still 40% of the leaves was dropped so you need to be very very careful you need to be very very loving towards them so let me see how they like my caring so that's it for today
next time i will make a video of uh, peperomia collection i have few thank you for watching